the poorest are being hit the hardest as disasters widen inequality and entrench poverty. Transform and resilient societies can only be achieved if we stop disaster risks outpacing resilience. The origin of disaster risk in Asia Pacific are often transboundary in nature, whether it is a tsunami, cyclone, drought, transboundary floods, mostly they are transboundary in nature. The lesson we learned from 1999 super cyclone that made us construct many multiple cyclone shelters, buildings like this. Sandstorms wreak death and destruction in many of the world's desert regions. They occur when intensely hot air over the desert causes the lower atmosphere to become unstable. As you know that this is a vicious circle, the vulnerable groups and the poor people are receiving more damages when we are facing catastrophe. I hope that our discussion will open new horizon for further economic and social development and cooperation in the Asia and the Pacific region. Sendai, the Tohoku area, uh, hit by tsunami in 2011. We have about 20,000 people killed. We are in the, still in the middle of the recovery from the tsunami. But uh, in the meantime, we have lots and lots of contributions, donations from our foreign countries and the international organization and so on. We, as an international community, deal with this issue. Historically, there was more emphasis on disaster relief, but we now understand that that's not enough. We need to prepare for the disaster which will come. We need to be more resilient. A 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of Indonesia's Sulawesi Island Friday. The strong quake was centered at a depth of 10.5 miles below the surface and hit near a cluster of islands off the east coast of central Sulawesi. I think Indonesia and the people of Sulawesi can be very proud for the very effective and immediate response showing an enormous capacity that the international community should be ready to support. Pacific. In my own country, Nauru, over 90% of the population and infrastructure are located along the thin coast fringe. God willing, we won't return home to find our villages inundated by waves of and our homes and public infrastructure wet by cyclones. But even if that were to be the case, it's worth the trip here to say that we are all in this together. The key challenge in this uh, system is uh, really to ensure that the right information gets to the right people at the right time. The vision for the future is really, I think, on two levels. One is to keep harvesting from technological innovations. And I think the second vision is cooperation among countries that is bigger than the sum of individual actions.